My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UiPath. Today we will see how we can filter Outlook messages by sender email address. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about UiPath and API. Let's get started. It was a question I got from Hassan, and he asked me to he have an Outlook mailbox with 10 unread mails from different centers, and he only want to read, read some of them, and those should be uh, set as read when he performs some different actions on them, and all the other ones should be unread. So I created uh, an Outlook directory with 10 mails in, and all of them are unread, except this one I, I'm in. And say that we only want to read mails from Kate, from UiPath, this one, and this one. And all the other mails should, uh, should be set as unread, and we only want to perform some actions on them. So uh, let's see how that is done. We could, uh, let me mark all of them and say mark as unread. So now all of them are unread, and we will perform, uh, we'll create that workflow here in UiPath. First, we will need a get Outlook mail message. Uh, get Outlook here. Drag this guy in. We will create two variables. The first one will be our mail account, and that's just this mail account up here, test clone as DK. So, uh, str mail account. This one will be RPA test, clovernus DK. Yours will be whatever you have. And then the uh, we want the mail folder, because I created a test folder here. Otherwise, just use inbox or whatever folder you want to read in. So here we will say test str uh, mail folder. And this one will be test, like this. So now we've got two variables we can use here in our Outlook mail message. So up here in the account, that will be our uh, RPA test. The mailbox folder, it's per default inbox. However, we will use our newly created variable, str mail folder, like this. Here we can see that we only uh, want to read un unread mail messages. That's fine, that's what we want. We can uh, specify a list that we want to get the mails out in. So control K, and this one could be list of mails. Like this. And now we can go down to variables and see that we got a, a list of mail messages. Then we want to loop through each one of them. So for each, drag this guy in. Up here in the for each, change the object to mail message. And then delete this body here. So we want to loop through uh, our newly created list, list of mails, like this. And we could just write out the subject or something. Hassan probably want to perform multiple actions on that mail, however, we will just write out the subject. So that will be items, subject, to string. So what we'll do is that we'll just write all out, we will write out all of our mails with no filter on. But we'll filter later with the send address just to see how it works. So now we write out the subjects of all 10 mails. We can go down here in output and see that we performed our action. However, now we want to filter like Hassan wants. So let me just, we can see it here. And so what we do is that we go up to get Outlook mail messages and then in the filter display name, click the expression editor and we can write a filter. Here we want to write a filter of the sender email address. So what we'll do is quotation marks, then the, these curly uh, hard brackets here. And uh, we'll say sender email. There's no auto completion here, so uh, we'll just have to write be specific. So sender email address, and then we will say equal to. And what we want, we will only want to uh, work with filters, uh, mails from Kate from UiPath, and but everyone could call them that. So uh, let's be more specific. We want uh, the mail address from Kate. I cannot copy it. Well, it's Kate dot McDaniel. UiPath.com. So what we'll do here is that we'll in single quotation marks we'll say Kate McDaniel and then UiPath.com. So now we only get mail address from Kate. Uh, again, uh, make a single quotation marks. Remember that and this one. So now we have filter run. We will only write out the subject. Uh, we will only write out the subjects from the mails from uh, Kate McDaniel. And we can try again.
go down to output and we can see that we only have CEO, Daniel Dives, line and unscripted and preparing employees for whatever. And you can see that's uh, exactly what uh, we got from Kate here. CEO, Daniel and stuff. Let's just uh, mark everyone as unread because now we will perform the last step of our action. We want to um, only have the unread messages, that's fine. But after we perform an action, we will have it as read. So let's go down here. Now everything is unread and now we want to run the file again. By the way, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help me a lot. So now again, we just wrote out the mails and we can go down to our Outlook and we can see that this one is read and this one is read and the other mails are still read. So we answered Han Hassan's question. That was a great question. If you got a question yourself, just put it in the comments. I'll gladly reply to it. Have a good day. Bye bye.